Hi, my name is Justin Young, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the time lapse app using the Sony A7R Mark II. Using Sony's time lapse app is very user friendly. When you turn on the app, the first screen to appear is the theme selection. Here you will select a preset theme that best describes what you'll be shooting. I'm set up to shoot a sunset, so I'll select the sunset theme. However, before starting your first time lapse, I'm going to walk you through how my menu settings are set up so you'll be able to get the best results possible. First, click on application settings. Under file format, select stills or stills and video. Doing this will allow you to switch your image quality to raw. If your final video project will be in 4K, you'll need to have one of these two selected. As of right now, the app can't create 4K movies, but I can see them adding it within the near future. If you need to lengthen or change the amount of shots taken, this is where you can change your intervals. One feature I love about this app is that it calculates the total duration it'll take for your time lapse. This is great for time management. Next, turn on the self timer. This will help avoid any camera shake on the first shot taken. On page two, this is where you can change your image quality. I like shooting my time lapses in RAW and batch processing them in Photoshop or Lightroom. This gives me full control over my end product more than if I was just shooting my time lapses in JPEG. I always recommend people not to shoot in autofocus for time lapse. It might not know where you want to focus or it might try and refocus during the time lapse. On page three, you can change the focus mode to manual and focus area to flexible spot. This allows the app to let you punch in to make sure that your image is tack sharp. You can't change your white balance or creative style unless you're shooting in custom theme mode. Another reason why I choose to shoot in RAW, in case the camera itself doesn't get the correct white balance, I can always fix it in post. You'll want to make sure your monitor brightness is set to dim. This will help preserve battery life on one of those long shoots you might be having. Finally, click on the focus magnifier to be sure that your image is tack sharp. Thanks again for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to learn more about time lapses as I'll be releasing more in-depth videos in the coming months. Mm -hmm.